Greetings, YouTube. I would normally do this crystal opening on a live stream, but I am indeed about to head out of town, and so I have decided to, uh, well, open some crystals when uh, it is off live stream, but still technically getting to speak into my microphone. And here's the deal, YouTube. I have only two Max Sig champions as six stars. Dr. Doom and Aegon. Two six-star crystals ago, I got Dr. Doom, and the last crystal, I got Aegon. Normally, you would say, that's amazing, Prof. You're so lucky. And on paper, you're absolutely right. But when you don't have a max sig ability crystal in these, and I cannot say this enough, I don't want there to be seven-star shards anytime soon in the game, not for years. But they can make the six-star max sig crystal, which is so earned because it takes so much money to max sig a six-star more than ever, really, in 2021. Uh, just make it a much better buffed up version of the 5 star max sig. Give us a 5% drop rate chance, at least a 1% drop rate for a moral iron fist, a 1-5% to drop rate for a 5 star awakening gem, and then most importantly at least double the 6 star shards with a rare chance of maybe a 6 star crystal or a 6 star nexus. The, the nexus is probably way too uh, greedy of me, but hey, a guy can dream, right? So, as we go into the 6 star crystal opening, I am looking, as always, to awaken my Warlock, to awaken my Red Mags, to awaken Captain Marvel Movie, to awaken Apocalypse, to awaken Red Hulk, because if I awaken Red Hulk, you can see that Science Tier 5 class cows, I might take him to rank 3. I truly believe that much in Red Hulk, especially in the future of the contest. Uh, and then, as always, Namor would be a nice awakening, Falcon, Kingpin, but... If you want to know my top six star for that Awakening Gem, it's Omega Red. Couldn't hunt him with all the, the class-based Nexus. Got the Awakening Gem ready to go. Got enough six stones to take him to six 200, all that stuff. And then we could also end the hunt for the Dad Bod with this opening. So, who is it that we're also after in this? Well, I, I do declare that Cosmic Ghost Rider would be an insane six star to, to land him. So we are going to select Cosmic Ghost Rider. I know it's a mobile game. I know that to some people it's just a hobby. But I still, my, my heart's beating extra fast right now. Because I still get nervous and anxious every time I open a six star crystal. Because it is that important to me. All right, as weird as it sounds, anything but Aegon or Doctor Doom. Anything but Aegon or Doctor Doom. Even if it's a Groot or Satan herself, um, it's still more useful for my roster. But we want uh, Red Mags again. We want Omega Red. We want the Dad Bod. We want Cosmic Ghost Rider. We want Awakening of Apocalypse. We want something great. Something useful. Something we can use for the future of the contest. Awakening Red Hulk is really, truly really at the top of that list, too. All right, a bunch of trash in the reel so far. What's up, Sunspot? Masakre would be amazing, and Dragon Man is an interesting champ. You know, I had somebody land on Dragon Man the other day, and I, I said, I don't know how I would feel about a six-star Dragon Man. Well, I better I better discover how I should feel about a, a six-star Dragon Man, because he is now on my roster. I mean, he's a new champ to the pool. I think he's a fun champion to play, but am I ever going to use him in, like, an actual game scenario? I don't know. My, the temptation for me is to say no. But, uh, you know, I have to ask the question, would you be happy with this six-star champion? Would you be happy with the six-star Dragon Man? Does he need to be awakened? Would you take him to rank two? All of these questions I don't have answers to, which I guess is why I'm asking you. Uh, thank you for the support, YouTube. And as always, a new champion is a new champion. That's more arena points. I need one new six-star to make a full arena squad, so I'm very happy about that. And at the time of uh, recording this... I also have a little bit more time left in the level up event. Actually, more like 13 hours. That's a lot more than a little bit of time. Half a day to uh, rank up a champion and get some points. So I think I'm going to do that, but not on this uh, video because it would just be wasting time. Let's not waste your time. Let's uh, end this video here. YouTube, thank you so much for your continued support. 
of my channel as the semester wraps up at Oklahoma State. I'll have more time to make videos and do crystal opening commentaries. I've got 700 videos that have yet to be commentated on my list. I know some of you have been waiting months and months and months. I promise I'll do my best. If you have to send me a reminder, please do it kindly, but you can send me one because I'll look to catch up in the next month plus. In the meantime, have a good one. Thanks for watching.